creating uh, those four elevations in this one sheet layout. And I'm going to quickly cover how we can actually have a uniform scale um, in this drawing. So if I go to this detail view um, and I select this detail view in particular, this scale option is going to come up. What I want is I want a quarter inch scale. And how this scaling option works is it, it works in reverse. So instead of having a quarter inch equals one foot, uh, you would have one inch uh, on the layout equals uh, four feet in the model. And then you can see that this was changed to a quarter inch scale. If I want it to be an eighth inch, you can see that it would become much smaller. Um, but for this view, I think four, uh, one fourth inch is great. So we're going to do that for all of the detail views. So we're just going to go to that detail view and we're going to change it um, so that we have a, a fixed scale. And make sure you do this for all of the views. So now I've quickly just changed the scale to a quarter inch for all of these elevations. So those, those are all my elevations and they're pretty much done. And if you look right here, it's actually intersecting with this other building. So I'm going to double click this and I'm just going to, I'm just going to move this over slightly. And I'll go back over here. Um, and then I'm just going to change the scale uh, for this one more time. I see it's still there. So let's move it over. Okay, that's good. So now we have four elevations on one sheet. So this is one sheet that can be printed out. Uh, let's say I do a uh, print over here. So I go to print. And uh, all my sizes seem appropriate. I have the windows. So I, I don't want to have these windows right here. So how would I get rid of that? I just quickly go to those curves that I used as a reference. If they're on a different layer, you can just uh, simply hide them. Um, I'm just deleting them just for the sake of this video. So then we just go to print. And you can see that those lines are gone. So everything is right. Arc C, that's just how we wanted it. Uh, we have you know the view and output scale. We don't touch the scale because we scaled it ourselves. So we know that it's a quarter inch scale. And then of course, line types and line widths. I haven't changed the line types on here, but make sure that um, when you do this assignment, that you make sure to change to uh, different line types as well. Let's type in print. And let's save this as uh, A1 elevations. Okay, save. <clears throat> so yeah, let's see how that turned out. Um, yeah, this is how it looks. A1 elevations. Um, yeah, so it looks pretty good. Um, we really quickly just modeled it and all the hatches were pretty consistent, so that's nice. So now let's quickly do uh, a new sheet. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back, we're gonna create a new layout. Let's rename this uh, A2. Let's name this as sectional elevations, right? Same thing, arc C, detail count zero, okay? And just like before, we're gonna just quickly make a border. We're gonna offset it uh, one inch. And for this one, we're actually gonna do mid, we're gonna have two sectional elevations, our north to south elevation, our east to west elevation. So I'm gonna go back to drafting. I'm gonna go to add detail view. Select this as my window. And I'm just gonna quickly uh, double click and go to my elevation. So this is my elevation right here. So I'm, that's the first elevation. Let's do a new detail view and we're gonna do our second elevation. And we'll go to our, let's move this over a little bit. So this is our second elevation view. And let's double click to close it. And of course, we want to make sure the scale is appropriate. So let's go to our detail view and we'll see what scale will work. And I have a feeling that eight inch uh, quarter inch scale probably won't fit. Oh, let's see if it does. No, it's too big. So we're going to go to eight inch equals one foot. And we'll do the same thing for this window as well. So we're just doing a reverse scaling and we're doing eight inch. That way we have two of our elevations on here. And then we can just get rid of those curves that we don't want. So then we have our two elevations and we have our section cuts that are consistent with uh, how we drew them. So now that we have this, um, what we want is, let's say we want to uh, just quickly add a label. So let's say I want to add a label for this, just to uh, show that this is a north to south uh, section cut. So I just go to text. I can create a text right over here, and let's say I want it to be one inch high, and I can just type in um, north uh, to south uh, section 
sectional elevation, right? Okay. And it's too big. <laughs> so let's reduce the size. Let's do uh, let's do like a mm, let's do a quarter of an inch. Yeah, I think that's good. So we'll do a quarter of an inch, and then we can just copy and paste it, and then we can have a scale as well. So that's kind of nice. Uh, let's do scale, and we know our scale is one eighth of an inch equals one foot, because we scaled it ourselves. Right, so then we have, you know, just a, a nice label, um, just so that we have um, kind of an easier to understand drawing. And then do the same thing over here, and you can just change it to uh, east to west, right? East to west sectional elevation, right? So then you have both of those elevations, you have a label as well. So then you would just do the same thing, you'd print it as well. So let's quickly print this file. And you can see right over here, that's how that print will look, and you would just type in print. You can just name it as uh, A2 sectional elevations. Okay. Now let's make a new sheet for our floor plans. So let's go back to drafting. We're going to create a new sheet. Just like before, it's just going to be the same exact thing. It's going to be A3 uh, floor plans. We'll hit OK. Um, like before, make your boundaries. Um, so go to rectangle, offset. And I think for this one, it might be nice to just have, let's do one floor plan on one sheet. I think that's quite, that's important. Let's do that. So we're going to go to add detail view, select our detail, double click, uh, and let's zoom in to our floor plans. Let's do second level. So this is our second level floor plan. Uh, so I have it right here. So I'm going to double click to close it. And for this one, the scale, I think, is going to be larger. So let's go to our detail view. Let's change our scale to, um, let's see how a quarter inch looks. So it's pretty small. Uh, let's do a half inch. So yeah, I think a half inch is a good scale. So this is one half of an inch on the paper equals one feet in the model. So we're going to double click and just move this around to kind of an appropriate kind of a location. So yeah, that's good. So this is our uh, view. So now we're going to dimension this uh, really quickly. Um, an important thing is if you go to File, Properties, you want to make sure that for annotation scaling, you turn off your scaling of text. Now this is important because what will happen is if you go to your annotation, if I go to my dimensioning, and if I double click on this, these are my foot architectural. You want to make sure that your format is feet and inches. Um, you want to pick a desired height. Uh, I recommend 0.1, um, whatever you really want. Uh, maybe 0.15 might be good. And feet and inches, and you hit OK. And then, like I mentioned, just go back and make sure that your annotation scaling is off. This will make sure that all of your dimensions stay the same size, so that way the size doesn't change over um, one sheet to another. And then you can start to dimension everything. So you can start to dimension. OK, that's kind of large. Let's go back. We're going to change that real quick. Um, dimension, let's go this one. Let's change it to 0 0.07. OK. So actually, I ended up changing the scale. So if you go back to properties, um, and because you're modeling in different spaces, you might want to just want to try out different scales. Um, so you can just automatically find a scale that you think works. Or you can just, you know, change it to whatever type of uh, kind of size or whatever type of dimensioning you want it to be. And then you just quickly go in there and you can start to dimension. And it's recommended that all of the dimensions kind of follow in one line with one another. So that's why uh, you start to have kind of all of these different dimensionings together. And linear dimension is uh, a good option. So just go to dimension, vertical dimension. And then you start to kind of dimension all of these together. So start to dimension the entire uh, drawing. And then um, I haven't dimensioned all of this, but I'm just quickly showing how you can dimension it. And then make sure to add a title as well. So um, for example, uh, level two floor plan scale um, half an inch equals one foot right and it won't be an inch it's going to be a quarter of an inch okay there we go okay so that's it uh, that's pretty much a quick export option and just like before just file print um, same thing print uh, a3 of uh, level 2 plan 